Pip pip tally ho. Yeah. It's the English blokey. All right, what is cracking all my crackers and ninjas? I've had this channel now for a while, for two years or so, and it's called the English blokey, but I almost never speak about English things. So today I want to address some of the English stereotypes that people seem to have about us. Number uno, which is ironic because that's not in English. But anyway, number one, people seem to think that everyone over here wears bowler hats. Now I thought I'd start off with the weirdest one because this is the one that never ever happens in England. I don't think I've ever seen someone wear a bowler hat when they're not dressed up as an English stereotype for the purpose of wearing a bowler hat to look not like an actual English person. And the rest of the attire that people think goes with the bowler hat is the very long unopened umbrella, which I can tell you is just wrong. We always have to have that open. Because that moves me on to the next stereotype about England being really rainy or something for some reason. But yeah, I do have to admit, England is probably one of the rainiest places in the world. I think on average in the south we have about 150 days of rain a year, and in the north it's like well over 200. Which is also, by the way, if you get one sunny day in England, every single person in the country goes down to West Wittering Beach. Yeah, we have like one sandy beach in the whole of the south of England. And so all we need to trigger our beach response is just like a glint of sunlight to hit our eye. Oh, grab the towels. And because there's no transition from towels to the next thing, I'm just going to start talking about the royal family. Now, Americans, I don't know how you constructed this lie, but where did it come from that everyone thinks everyone in England knows the Queen? Or is it everyone in London knows the Queen? I don't know if you've noticed it, but the Queen doesn't really, like, talk to normal people. Ever. The indisputable fact that everyone knows the Queen is so far from the truth that if the truth was a 20 mile an hour speed limit, this fact would be traveling through time right now. But I think time travel would be absolutely spiffing. Oh, good transition to the next thing, Kieran. Because the next thing I'm going to be talking about is random words that people think the English say. And although it is a joke in my intro, pip pip tally ho, yo, it's the English blokey, you've all heard it, it came before this video. I hate to crush any American fangirl's dreams, but we do not say that sort of stuff over here. The words we're more likely to say is the London rude boy slang. Like, hey, cards, you come over here, man, I'm gonna murk you up, yeah? All of the foreign audience going, why is he doing such a terrible Jamaican accent? And all of the English audience just reaching for a baseball bat. And only the English people getting that joke. Finally, moving on to the actually true stereotypes. We, the British, are the most insurmountably reserved people in the world. I want you to imagine a scenario we go to a restaurant and you order beef and instead they come out with roadkill dog that's been burnt to a crisp. In every other country in the world everyone would be like whoa what the hell is this I want a full refund apology and a meal on your meal on you guys. Yeah I started then that wasn't that great. But in England instead we're like oh dearie me I guess I'll just eat the chips. Have a little bit of the dog. But in the same way we will not give away anything unless it is absolutely teared from our dead gripping hands. So yeah the whole stiff upper lip thing is 100% true. I'll just to clear something up really quickly. England is a country. Great Britain consists of England, Wales and Scotland the big landmass. The United Kingdom consists of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and the British Isles consists of all of that the rest of Ireland and all the random little islands that are off the coast of our great nation. I think Vsauce said something about it but I get that a lot so there you go. So yeah I hope now you can understand why we were all such imperialistic assholes a couple hundred years ago. We have a shit little country and nothing to do, so the only logical next step was to go and conquer the rest of the world. We had nothing else to do with our time, which is also the same reason why we go on holiday and are such knob ends there. Just thought I'd clear that up. But anywho guys, I hope I've imparted some knowledge upon you, and I know there wasn't any video last week, but as I said in the last video, if you had gone and subscribed to the BB Kieran TV channel, which I have no idea why you wouldn't, you would have gone and enjoyed those videos instead and been like, oh, still getting content. So the link is going to be in the sidebar for any of you lazy people who didn't go over last time. And I thought I'd also just inform you that I'm filming this at seven in the morning. I got up at like six to do this because I'm going to work at 10. This is how dedicated I am. And on that note, I guess I will see you all next Sunday. La da dee dum da. La dum dee dum 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 dum.